I was so small as a kid, I never imagined that I could lift a lot of weight. And then I was deployed, got really into CrossFit, and I had a crazy goal of deadlifting 500 pounds. But I will tell you, I never thought that I could lift that amount of weight. Well, finally, I hit that goal. And when I got back from my rack, I actually hit a personal record and deadlifted 515 pounds. For the same reason that I believe that I couldn't deadlift 500 pounds is the same type of reasoning of why you think that you can't get rich, can't become wealthy, and become a millionaire. Well, we're going to debunk all of that right now. I'm gonna show you how you can become a millionaire by changing your mindset in five minutes. Let's find out how you can do that right now. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Wealth Hacker TV, the channel dedicated to teaching you new ways to grow wealth that is not taught to you in schools or by your parents. I am your gracious host, Jeff Rose, and today we're talking about simple millionaire math on how changing your mindset and doing some simple math, I'm gonna show you how you can become a millionaire in five minutes, and a lot of it has to do with mindset. So at the beginning of this video, I talked about me believing that I couldn't deadlift 500 pounds, like I truly believed it. Now, I didn't just wake up one day, roll out of bed, throw on 500 pounds, and try to lift it, because that wouldn't have been pretty. It would have been pretty ugly. So just because you do the millionaire math, you spend the time, you change your mindset, doesn't mean that you're going to become a millionaire overnight. It takes work. So with me and deadlifting, that was me committing and believing that I could lift that amount of weight and then putting in the work. Every single day, every single week, until finally I could lift that 500 pound goal that I had. And just like becoming a millionaire, I just didn't roll out of bed one day and become a millionaire. First, I had to have the belief, I had to make the commitment, then I had to do the work, and then over time, I became a millionaire. But it all starts with that mindset shift, and for many, we get stuck because we just can't even compute the numbers. And what I wanna share with you today is just some simple millionaire math, how doing five minutes of math with some real life examples on how you can achieve millionaire status. All right, so let's start with some simple math. You wanna make $10,000 extra. Many of us can't even fathom that, like to make 10 Gs, to make $10,000 on the side. But once again, let's break this down into simple math. To make $10,000 on the side, Let's say that you find some sort of side hustle, some sort of side gig, a part-time job, whatever, and you make $25 per hour. So if you do that side hustle, that side job, that side gig, making $25 an hour and doing that 10 hours a week every single month, in 10 months, you will have made $10,000. So $25, 10 extra hours a week, you're already at 10 thousand dollars if you find something that pays you fifty dollars an hour you've just cut that in half in five months you've made ten thousand dollars but once again that's just simple math and it's doing the work and also finding whatever it is that gig that hustle that side job whatever that is to make that extra money but don't get stuck on the math because it's possible to make ten thousand dollars on the side whether it takes you 10 months 12 months or 14 months it doesn't matter it's making the commitment and doing the work all right so let's apply that ten thousand dollar example but let's ratchet up a little bit and let's talk about how to become a millionaire so if you want to make a millionaire million dollars in one year, you're going to have to make $83,333 per month, or you're going to have to make $20,830 per week, or $520 per hour. All right, so that's awesome and all, but the reality of you finding a $500 side gig, side hustle that's just gonna show up and appear on your lap, like that's not going to happen. Don't put all your faith into that. But if you could make $100 per hour doing the 40 hours per week, in five years, you would have achieved million dollar status. You would have made a million dollars in five years. So that is showing you some millionaire math. Now you're not making $100 per hour yet, but that's fine. 
So let's go even deeper. If you're making less, if you have a side hustle, if you have some sort of product or side business that you can create, you could make a million dollars. Let me give you some real life examples. So I'm gonna introduce a concept to you called the profit ladder or sometimes referred to as the value ladder. And the whole idea is that you're going to create a minimum viable product, something that is lower end, cheap that people can get in and buy your product or service and now they become familiar with you, your business, your offering, what you're all about. And if you're wondering like, does this really happen? Well, it happens all the time. You see it on Amazon, you see it on Kickstarter, or you see it on Etsy. There are so many products that are in that lower price point. You know, we're talking five, 10, $15 or so, and just getting you used to their brand. So let me just give you an example, a real life example of another blogger I know in the personal finance space. She focuses on budgeting and she has a budget boot camp, a budget workbook. And this thing is a $7 product. And $7, she's been able to make over $100,000 in one month selling a $7 product. So if you have a similar price product at $10, you just have to sell 100,000 of them to make your million dollars. Now you're probably thinking, how in the world am I gonna find 100,000 people? Well, guess what? People on Amazon, on Kickstarter, all the places I've already mentioned, you can find 100,000 people, that's what the internet is all about. But that is just one example. $10 product, 100,000, you made a million dollars. Okay, so that's some examples of the initial offering, something that's just gonna get people in the door, lower price, you're not asking for a huge monetary commitment, but now they're a paying customer, so now you can market other things to them. So for me, or even for you, you could do personal coaching, and you can charge anywhere from 100, 200, $250 or more, depending on your expertise and experience, but you could charge coaching. Now, you could set up a PayPal account and charge that way. I did that initially. Then I also set up an account with clarity.fm that allowed me to market myself as a coach on blogging, entrepreneurship. And I started charging, I think it was a couple hundred dollars per hour. And then I topped out at a thousand dollars per hour for one-on-one -on -one coaching. But if you don't want to do coaching, you could also have a different digital product and you could just charge more by offering more. So you've got your entry level product that's $10, could be some PD maybe some videos. Well, now you could have a full on course. And with this course, you can charge 250, 500, 1000. The first course I ever created, I was selling for $2,500. And just some examples, I've already interviewed Mike and Bobby from Laptop Empires, and they have their Facebook side hustle course. Be sure to check out their interviews where we talk about their journey and their course and how they are able to build a million dollar business in under four years. But with their course, they're charging anywhere from 300, 400. They have some additional bonuses they can add on that price and make that much more. I have another good friend, Steve Chu from mywifequitterjob.com and Steve has a course showing others on how to create and build a profitable e-commerce business. So Steve did this himself and then he created a course about it. And when he first launched this course, I think he was selling it for about $300. And last time I checked, it was anywhere between 700, 800, maybe even $900 for his course. And just taking his expertise and experience and marketing that, and I know that he's also also made millions from his course. All right, let's go back to our simple millionaire math. We have our entry level product, $10. If we sell 100,000 at $10, we have a million dollars. But now we have a $500 product. So we don't have to sell 100,000, we just have to sell 2,000. So 2,000 customers at $500, we now have made $1 million and it only gets better. All right, now we're on to the second tier. We talked a little bit about a course, we talked about coaching. Well, now you could just have a more higher end course. Maybe you're catering more to other businesses or some sort of niche that people are willing to pay top dollar. I've already mentioned my course, which was the online advisor growth formula. This was a course that I marketed to financial advisors that wanted to grow their practice, their business, utilizing online marketing. Because I was targeting financial advisors, I knew that I could charge more. So it didn't have to charge 300 or 500, Right out of the gate, I was able to charge $2,500 
for my course. And I'm not the only one that can command that, that type of price. If you are on YouTube for any specific amount of time, I'm sure you've heard of Dan Locke. Dan Locke is a multi-millionaire and he's got some amazing content out there. And he also has many courses. I actually just bought his YouTube course here recently. And I believe it was $2,500 that Dan was able to sell and market and people were paying $2,500 for the course that Dan put out. So yes, you can command a higher price point on courses if you have the expertise and if you have the right clientele. So we're going back to our millionaire math. 100,000 at $10 equals a million. 2,000 at 500 equals a million. Well now, if you have 1,000 people paying you $1,000 for some sort of product, you've got a million dollars. And if you can get to the $2,500 price point, all you need is 400 customers. 400 customers paying you $2,500, now you've got your a million dollars. And the awesome thing about this profit ladder, this value ladder concept is that you can keep going higher and higher and higher. I have a men's mastermind group that I lead that I charge $10,000 for. I have another good friend of mine, John Corcoran, who is a lawyer turned internet marketer. Now he runs a very high level coaching and mastermind group and he charges $25,000 to be in his group. So once you get to that status of providing value, but you gotta have that entry level product. You gotta be able to get them in the door, show them what you're all about, Build that trust, build that confidence they have in you and your ability to show them how to achieve whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish and then you can get up there. But it all starts with that simple millionaire math. Okay, so here's a quick exercise that I want you to do right now. What is your hourly rate? What are you making per hour now? Let me know in the comments below, based on how much you're making right now, how long it would take you to make one million dollars. It's simple millionaire math. What are you making right now and how long is it going to take you to make one million dollars? Just using some of the formulas I've shared in this video. So let me know in the comments below how long it's going to take you to make one million and then you better subscribe because I'm gonna show you how you can make a million dollars a whole lot faster because that's what the Wealth Hacker channel is all about. All right, y'all, until next time, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. Let's do it together. Peace.